All right, here are solutions to quiz one for Math 65. We're asked to find all solutions to this system of linear equations by graphing. Um, and then do it again down here. All right. Uh, so the basic idea is to graph a line, you want to put it into slope-intercept form. That y equals mx plus b. So if I take this 2x plus y equals 5, it's not currently in that form. It does. It's not y equals mx plus b. But I could get it into that form if I solve for y. So to solve for y, I want to get rid of this 2x. I want to move that over to the other side of the equation. So if I subtract 2x from both sides, and if I write the negative 2x first, now it's in y equals mx plus b form. Specifically, the slope is negative 2, or if you want to write it as a fraction, negative 2 divided by 1. And the y-intercept is 5. So what that means is that if I count up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, and then I get one point on the line. And to get another one, I go down by two and then right by one. So down two, right one. Then you connect those dots with the straight line. Try your best to make it straight. You got something that looks something like this. And now repeat. Do that same thing again except for your other equation. So I got four plus two y equals 8 minus x. Again, I want to solve for y, so all my y's are over on this side of the equation, so if I subtract 4 from both sides, I get 2y equals 4 minus x, which isn't quite what I want. Um, maybe now I'll divide everything by 2 and get y equals 2 minus x over 2. And if I rewrite that, instead of negative x over 2, I can say that's negative 1 half x, um, and then this 2 right here gives me a plus 2. The advantage to writing it like this is now it's in slope-intercept form. So I can look at that and say, well, the slope is negative 1 half, and the y-intercept is 2. So what that means is this point right here is on my graph. And then if I go down by 1 and right by 2, I get another point on my graph. And if I connect those points with a straight line, Looks like my points intersect right here. Um, so my solution is x equals 2, y equals 1. Um, I guess that's it. And then do it again. Why? I don't know. I guess I figured you had time to do it twice. And so might as well do it twice. That way if you make a little mistake up here, you can show that you know what you're doing down here. Might be a little overkill though. 3y equals 2x minus 15. I want to solve for y to get it into y equals mx plus b form. And to do that, I have to divide by 3. If I divide everything by 3, this becomes 2 thirds x, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So I get that my slope is 2 thirds, and my y-intercept is negative 5. In other words, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's one point on my graph. And then every time I go up by 2, I'm going to go over by 3. There's another point on my graph. Up by 2, over by 3. Get this line right here. Then maybe I'll switch colors and do it again. All right, now I'm going to do that one more time. Graph the line that corresponds with this second equation here. So y plus 2x plus 2y equals negative 2x plus 3. Um, now I got like terms on the left-hand side of the equation. I have one y here and two more y's here. So really what I have is 3y. Um, and then I don't want these two x's on the left-hand side because I only want my y's on the left. So if I subtract 2x from both sides, I'd be left with negative 4x plus 3. And then finally divide everything by 3. That gives you negative 4 thirds x plus 1. So what I'm getting is that my slope is negative 4 thirds and my y-intercept is 1. So I can graph this line. Let's see, my y-intercept is 1. That's right here. And then I go down by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And to the right by 3. 1, 2, 3. And there's another point. Connect those with the straight line. Straight-ish. And this point of intersection, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Where do I write that?
that down here maybe. x is 3, y is negative 3 is my answer. Um, so I guess that's it for this quiz. I mean, the basic idea, the hardest part is graphing these lines. So you want to graph the lines, and then where the two lines cross is the one point that is both a solution to this equation and this equation. So for example, if you weren't sure that you did things right, what you could do is change all the x's in this top equation into 3's, and change all the y's in this top equation into negative 3's, and make sure that the left side is the same as the right side. And then if you change all the x's here into 3's and all the y's into negative 3's, the left should still be the same as the right. And that's because this point is a solution to both of these equations. The blue line is the solution to is all the points that are solutions to this equation. The red line is all the points that are solutions to this equation. So the one point where they cross is the solution, the point that's a solution to both equations. Um, but that's the end of the quiz. I guess I'll stop the video here.